Bitter lessons for Sussex's fatal mistake. Harry brutally mocked in Santa Barbara after Jubilee trip. Prince Harry has been brutally branded second row Harry following his brief trip to the UK to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's seating arrangement at St Paul's Cathedral on June 3 has sparked the mockery of the Montecito author. During the service of Thanksgiving for the Jubilee, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle joined most members of the firm to pay tribute and celebrate the record-breaking reign of the Queen. Their status as non-working royals was reflected in the seating plan. Despite the Duke of Sussex being sixth in line to the throne, he and Meghan sat in the second row rather than next to the heirs to the throne. The Sussexes were behind the Earl and Countess of Wessex, who have been senior members of the firm since the early 2000s, their children, and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, who have served the Crown since the 1970s. More than a week after the Sussexes returned to the U.S., Montecito author Robert E. Ringer discussed the relevancy of Meghan and Harry in a comment piece for the Santa Barbara News Press titled The Duke and Duchess of Woke, or Woe. After claiming that the Platinum Jubilee celebrations showed the British firm is more popular than ever and was capable of moving on following Harry and Meghan's damaging claims and allegations launched during their interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, Mr. Iringer gave to the Duke the nickname Second Row Harry. He wrote, The Duke's new nickname might as well be Second Row Harry, based on the seating arrangement for a Thanksgiving service inside St. Paul's Cathedral, at which, upon arrival, the Duke and Duchess were booed by spectators. While other non working royals such as the Tyndalls, Lady Sarah Chatto, and Lady Gabriella Windsor arrived by bus to the cathedral, Meghan and Harry were driven there in a separate car. Upon entering the church, the couple was met with a mix of boos and cheers from members of the public standing outside, as noted by commentators on the day. Meghan and Harry were also booed while leaving the cathedral, once again in a separate car from their royal relatives. This was the last public event attended by the Sussexes during their brief stay in the UK. On the first day of the extended bank holiday weekend, the Duke and Duchess were spotted watching the Trooping the Colour Parade alongside other members of the firm from the Major General's office. Much like Harry's cousins Eugenie and Beatrice, he and Meghan were not invited on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch the RAF fly past as they no longer have a working role within the firm. The Duke of Sussex was seen taking a tumble from horseback during a polo game at Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club where he collided with three other horses in a losing effort for his team. Prince Harry was spotted taking a tumble during a game of polo after he crashed into three horses. The Duke of Sussex had been spotted horsing around with celebrity friends during a round of the historic game when he took a tumble at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club. His sighting at the Polo and Racquet Club marks another appearance for Harry following his and Meghan Markle's return to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Harry reportedly had a quite formal 15-minute catch-up with his grandmother, who was celebrating her 70-year reign on the throne at the time of their meeting. But Harry was soon back in America taking tumbles off of horses, with the 37-year-old Duke of Sussex spotted colliding into a handful of horses during a match. The royal, who plays for Los Padres, appeared to have offered a bad omen for his team, who lost 12-11. Harry didn't appear entirely downtrodden by the result as he was spotted brushing shoulders with famous friends Catherine McPhee, 38, and David Foster, 72, afterwards. McPhee, an American Idol runner-up and Foster, a 16-time Grammy winner, were spotted alongside their young son Rennie and Prince Harry. Stood alongside their